You know, if we would live Christ, we must realize that he is subjective and experiential. You know, you and I, if that is our goal, <laughs> that at least is my goal, to have a practical experience with Christ. You know, like Paul said, for me to live is Christ. Now, <laughs> someone someone insisted, tried to insist, you know, all throughout last year to, to give me a title. They wanted to call me pastor. Uh, for whatever reason, and I uh, kept reminding them, I'm just, I'm just an ordinary guy. I don't have a title. I'm not uh, an apostle. I'm not a pastor. I'm not an evangelist. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a guy who loves the Lord, an ordinary guy, you know, like you walking in the street, but I am absolutely sold out to Christ. And my goal is to go just from, from the doctrine to the actual lived experience of Christ. The indwelling spirit is the practical Christ, the subjective and experiential Christ. If we have a proper realization of this, we shall not try and separate the spirit from Christ. The three of the Godhead are one. These three are the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Father is in the Son, and the Son is realized as the Spirit. When the Spirit reaches us and comes to dwell within us and to live in us, all three of the Godhead come to dwell in us. How wonderful that Christ is in us, because in Christ is the fullness of the Godhead. Our Christ is, however, and this you must underline, this is George's whole thing. Our Christ is subjective and experientially and experiential. So if we would live Christ, we must realize that is subjective and experiential as well as objective, as we all know. As the mighty God, the Lord of all, the one who ascended to the heavens and who has been enthroned and crowned with glory, Christ is objective. Of this, we should have absolutely no doubt. But Christ is also, is also subjective. Otherwise, what is the point of, of getting saved and then waiting to die to go to heaven. We completely missed it. You know, we have to experience Christ while we're here in the ordinariness of our lives. Uh, uh, at school, if you are a kid, uh, in your business, if you are a, an employer, an employee, if you are an entrepreneur, um, as a parent, as a husband, as, as, a, as a wife. I mean, you can think of anything that you do in the spheres of the metrics of your life. Christ walked on this earth, and the Lord Jesus walked on this earth and demonstrated to us that you can be fully human, but also live Christ. <laughs> he dwells in us. He lives in us. He is seeking to settle in us, and he is also working to saturate our entire being with himself. Now, you can see that I'm 100% sold out to Christ. And, 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 you know, talk to me. I'm just an ordinary guy. But my quest is to share with you what, well, my quest is to experience Christ. And anything and everything that I'm experiencing and testing in the laboratory of my own life, in my own crucible and furnace, anything and everything is what I'm sharing with you. Now, th there is a wealth of revelation that God has deposited already uh, through his leading ones over the generations, and it is available. And I mean, I, I, I've been saved since I was about 11, and you probably know the whole course of my journey, but I never come across this stuff. And that, this stuff has always been there. And my goal is to lead you to it. You know, uh, when Paul preached uh, to the Berians, the Berians were pretty smart. Uh, these guys in the Acts, it tells us, they listened to Paul, then they went home and searched out the scriptures to see if what the guy was saying was truth. And when they saw it was truth, then they believed him. So my quest is just to point you to these resources and go out and search it out yourself. And I can absolutely assure you there are fresh depths in Christ, fresh depths in God that you've not walked, you've not even stepped into, you're not aware of. And it's all there. It's all available. Thank God for, for, for the resources of the web and social media, et cetera, et cetera. 
that is making all this accessible to us. It is absolutely free. I want zero from you. So if you haven't come across it yet, here's my encouragement. Set aside the next 97 days. I mean, you're already in the middle of February. What have you done so far as far as your spirit and your spiritual life is concerned in the year? And it's probably just going along. If you're pursuing your goals, go ahead with them, but do something but what matters your spirit. So my invitation is for you to set aside the next 97 days. And when I say set aside, you want to carry on with your life. You don't have to change anything. I mean, I'm, I'm a financial markets trader. I spend 16 hours in the market during the week and I'm still doing this stuff. I'm still pressing in. And I've got family, I've got everything. My life is carrying on. So you can adjust yourself to do it. It is for you as an individual, in respect of how old you are. If you are hungry, and seeking for more of Christ. This is the invitation for you. If you're comfortable with what you've got, by all means, keep on drinking that milk. But if you're searching for the solid milk, solid food of the word of God, enter the 97, enter into the mind of Christ, crucible and furnace for 97 days. I've structured a program for you, again, for free. Just follow the link and get started. I'd love to hear from you only as far as structuring the program is concerned. The rest of it, I leave to Christ and you to work out. My name is George, George Nyambadza. I'm just a guy. I just love the Lord and I'm sharing all of this stuff with you. All right, guys, take care and I will hear from you. Bye-bye.